I'm recording. This <laughs> way. By the way, I'm recording. Sound muted. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so today is going to be a kind of a tutorial video on... Uh, let me just adjust this. Um, this is on my old laptop, so don't worry about that. Uh, how to set up LAMP server with a self-hosted IPS. Of course, I'm using this version because I don't want to buy one. Um... For this YouTube purpose. Um, and yeah. So. Once you have your WAMP server installed. You're going to want to double click it. Which I've already done. So you got mine down here. And then you want to go to this PC. A local disk. Uh, x64. www and see how I have mine in here is IPS. Uh, we're going to create a new folder. Or not a new folder, but... Uh, there are two different ways you can do this, guys. You can either... Oh, I just moved my thing. So I'm going to just do that. There we go. Uh, you can either do this. Um, with this on the side. Of course, I'm not going to link this, um, because you know how many people would try to abuse that. Uh, so I named this, uh, IPS, and I'm just going to rename it to Focus, because I already got a paid one in there called IPS, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that in here. And it will copy and stuff, and then it com what comes with the WAMP server is a MySQL as well. I also have Apache, which is what this IPS Focus runs on. Um, and yeah, I'm just uh, this will take a while, so I'm just gonna minimize that. And then once you are done with that, we will go ahead and open a new tab. We're going to Chicago. Um, you can see where I got that uh, thing from, but you guys can't see the link, so yeah. Um, you're going to go to 127.0.0.1, and you'll have to go to slash IPS focus or whatever you named it, like slash website, for example, you know, whatever you name it. Um, and then it will bring you to a setup page. Um, and this is still not done copying it. Um, this is my destiny as well. Or not mine, but my friends. Um, if you want to join it, IP will be in the description. Or, uh, you can go ahead and... It would be like ts.mgcrp.com uh, and that would be TS3. Um, the website I have is uh, mgcrp.com slash IPS slash which will also be in the description as well. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just waiting for this to copy over. Um, and then you would copy that over and you would go to 7.0.0.1 slash IPS focus for example um and then I still have my regular um thingy basically and this is how you would set one up like this um self hosted and then see how mine has like this what I did is I um if you go to like WAMP settings, if you click that, you would have a online slash offline. Once you have that, 
you would have like this and you can you would have this option down here called put offline and you can it would usually say put online which would make that show up uh, but I'll show you that later I'm just gonna pause this while it downloads and I'll be back when it's done alrighty guys uh, it is finally done and we have IPS focus in here so once you have that you should have all these files and stuff and then you go to let's go to our in Chicago window slash IEP is focus and it will bring you to a page that will appear in a minute so much stuff open uh, this is taking a while to load and it'll perform a system check and then you it, it'll show you what this page basically so right here you can click start installation and once it loads it's going to ask you well, you go all the way down here, click continue. And then after that, it's going to ask you the license as well. If your license is correct and all that. Um, I prefer not, I prefer you guys not using the old version. Because that can, you know, um, usually with the uh, old one. You'd have to copy this, copy it, and then I would save it in a notepad, if it would ever type correctly. No, that's not what I wanted. Yes, I want notepad. Um... Paste it in there. You'll read all these licenses and stuff. Then click continue. Um, after that's done, you're going to go ahead and head over to 127.0.0.1. And that should bring you to that page in a minute. And you're going to, if you want forms or system or whatever you want, just uh, click continue. Um, it will ask you for the MySQL server details, and you just put everything in, like mine is root, <sighs> will be changing the password, we'll leave a local host, and you're, you can do whatever with this, like, you know, do whatever. Uh, database name is going to be IPS Focus. Now what you do here, go to here, when this loads, PHP my admin. And, uh, come on, load it, come on, you know you wanna, I'll be back in one minute, alright, so, right here, enter your username, password, whatever you have set up, um, of course, it's going to take forever again. Alright, you're going to go over to a uh, new database. And you're going... <sighs> Come on. Type in your database name. IPS fo Focus Create. And that's how you do that one. It will create the database. Or it's been created then. You go to server details, IPS focus, everything's good. Click continue. And then I have to pause real quick because it's almost 10 minutes. Enter your info, whatever, I'm pausing again so I don't waste the video. And then it installs, and that's pretty much it. So I'll wait until it's done and I'll show you guys. And then that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Have Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. And you're just going to click add.